will be cooking an incredible British classic fish and chips. Yeah. Look at it, crispy beer battered white fish with delicious thick cut chips with smashed fresh peas and finished off with that incredible homemade tartar sauce. Mm -hmm. And because I do not want to hear any excuses tonight, I'm going to show you how it's done. Please watch carefully. Pay attention. Now, behind a perfect fish and chips lies the batter. This is an incredible beer batter. Mix in the dry ingredients first. AP flour, followed by cornstarch, salt, baking soda. From there, mix that in gently. Form a little well in the middle, and very carefully add your beer. Don't add all the beer in at the same time, otherwise it's going to cause lumps. We want the batter to be thick enough to coat the fish beautifully and not too thin so as it runs off the fish. Make it really nice and silky. You can smell that batter from there, right? Mm -hmm. It's got that nice, delicious richness to it. Now, the secret is to let it rest. Got me? Yes, sure. Now, the fish. So how do we get the moisture out there? We season the fish lightly. It takes out any excess water. To make sure the fish sticks to the batter, you run it through seasoned flour and then shake off any excess, and you lay that inside the batter. Let it sink and just coat the fish. And then, very quickly, get rid of the excess batter, let it coat and lay away. Those Fillets of fish take three and a half to four minutes. The secret now is to get that batter nice and crispy and beautifully seasoned. Mm. Now, chips. Potatoes peeled. If they are cut evenly, they'll cook evenly and all at the same time. Get your fries straight into the fryer. Crank the heat up if you want those nice and crispy. Now, the way to identify when your fish is cooked, once that batter is coated, the fish starts to rise inside the fryer and as it starts to float, it's a strong indication the fish is cooked beautifully. Let it rest. Fries out of the basket, into the bowl. Smoked paprika salt, fresh chopped parsley into a bowl and coat your fries. And then take your cone, big tall ones at the bottom, and fill up that cone with your fries, making sure the fries are nice and crisp. And then lightly season your fish and then up and over. That is how you make a perfect MasterChef quality fish and chips. Good luck.